Lushings, the most famous cricket team in the world. Cricketing legends from four decades rolling back the years. Internationals who have won every prize the sport has to offer. All-time greats coming together for the love of the game. It's the cricket equivalent of the Harlem Globetrotters. But Lashings isn't just renowned for sport. The club also does tireless work for charities and the underprivileged. It helps build the future of cricket by coaching youngsters of all ages, races and creeds. The team always still sticks to its original credo of fun first and foremost at all levels of cricket. This is fun, you see? <laughs> the Lashing's goal is clear to raise the profile of cricket all over the world and to help people through the medium of sport. They're the best team in the world. Oh, he said it. He said it. You can't pick it up on the mic, but he said it. Say, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Take our stance behind the cone. And then... The Lashings players work hard to develop the stars of tomorrow. But Lashings isn't just about cricket. The club also holds fundraising dinners, charity balls and golf days. Today, Lashings has come to Fox Hills Golf Club in Surrey for some fun with a smaller ball than many of the players are used to. Alan Mullally takes the scenic route. Let's <laughs> go through that little bit there. The balls are too small and the clubs don't hit the ball straight. Herschel's also having problems with his balls. I've been consistently in the woods, so it's been good. <laughs> but MC David Lee is having a ball. <laughs> John Embry's handicap isn't his golf or his clubs. It's all these other blokes I'm playing with the problem. <laughs> as well as featuring top players, Lashings attracts some of the world's top companies as sponsors. A partnership with the Lashings World 11 provides the chance to meet the best known names in the game, as well as access to a thriving corporate network and growing business development opportunities. Lashings doesn't only attract cricketing legends to come and play for the team, it also visits legendary grounds, like the home of cricket, Lords. Today, Alvin Kalucharan is the Lashings host for a group of lawyers who won the day at a Lashings auction. In 1975, Alvin helped the West Indies win their first World Cup at Lords. Returning here brings back many happy memories. Imagine when I first came here in 1973 for West Indies. And the excitement on the first day, it's all come flooding back. And here I am again with lashings. You know what a way to finish my sporting life, to finish my career like this, to be involved with lashings. I couldn't ask anything more than this. The Lashings team has come to Bromley Cricket Club in Kent for one of the biggest events of the year. 
Over 850 people have gathered in the marquee for a big auction. The auctioneer is Channel 5 presenter John Gore. Auction item number one, it's, uh, it's the star for a day. Now I know I'm looking around the room, you're all successful, men and women alike, which basically means you have all neglected your children. Well, here's a chance to make up for it. So 20 runs required off of this, the last delivery. Hit it hard. Come on, Bromley. Come on, Bromley. After a hard-fought match, the Lashings World XI emerged triumphant. Chris Harris receives the winner's trophy. Ti fa mia. 